Chris Nielsen. So another World Championships here. Yep. How are you feeling about uh, getting out? You know, getting through the qualifying round, finding the track today. Really good. So you know, the worst part about the qualifying round is that things can only go wrong. You can only not make the final. If you if you're in the final, you can at least say like, ah, you know, like I had a. I had a great day, I had an okay day, I had an average, an average day, and qualifying it's just, you made it, you didn't, it's pass fail. There's no like ABC ranking. So it's a little, uh, little nerve wracking, but you know, the weather was really good. It was just really, really hot. Um, other than that, I don't have any complaints. And how does this compare to Tokyo, Eugene, right? How does it compare to previous times at the Olympics? I mean, to be honest with you, I, doesn't it doesn't really compare to the Olympics and nothing ever will just because you know the stakes were so high there and it's an Olympics but um, the only other championships I've been to were London when I was in college and I didn't really do much for me because I didn't do anything there uh, but then world championships last year that was really special because it, it was at home and it was super easy to get my family everywhere so that was cool but um, it was the really cool thing is I brought my fiance Brie with me and this is her first ever European meet with me so I'm really excited for her to get to see that and I was I, it was weird I was thinking more like I just just really want to jump in the final so, I, so that Brie could see me jump in Europe another time. Um, so that was kind of one of my bigger motivations. But at the same time, it's like, you know, at the end of the day, you have to be a little realistic at 575 to make the final. I mean, it's a high bar, but it's not something we've jumped any lower than all year. So. What, I mean, what does it mean to have, you know, have her here with you? I mean, of course, you've been all over Europe, you know, year after year. What does it mean to actually find her and have her here? Oh, it's great. World Championships. Yeah, it's like a completely different level of calm and, you know, tranquility. So she comes to most of my, my U.S. meets, but she's, you know, she's a full-time nurse, so she's pretty busy. Um, and like I said, this is her first ever European meet. It, she was able to come to the World Championships last year, so that was cool. And she knows a little bit about the bigger meets, but now that we're in a, a Europe meet, you know, it's just... It's really cool to have her here. It's it's like someone I can talk to all the time, and I can be myself around, and I don't have to like sit alone at uh, meals any at any point in time. So it's really good to have her here. There you go. And of course, you know, medalists. You've been racking up medals, you know, the past couple of years. What do you think it's going to take to get on top of the podium at this point here? Uh, probably 590 on a first attempt, or maybe the next bar after that. I'm not sure what the progression is yet. They haven't released it, but usually, you know, if you jump a 590. You know, you're looking pretty good for top three at least. Um, maybe some people will start popping off. People looked really good in the qualifying today, but you know, the last few years it's been 90s have been making medals pretty, pretty consistently. Well, last question: USA on your chest. How's it feel to represent uh, for another year for the United States here at the World Championships? Great. You know, it's uh, we didn't, I didn't get to do it, or I guess nobody did it indoors, and so it's been a year or so. But it's um, it's one of those special things that it's special because it's so rare, you know, we don't really get to do it that often and it's never gifted to those uh, American athletes, you know. A lot of Europeans, they just, they grow up and, you know, they get to the 18 years old and then their federation will just pump them into world championships and they'll get here and they won't actually do anything good. But that's the way it goes because we have so many talented American athletes that we just, we have to keep it so fair and only send the top three, but that's never given. You know, you have to earn that every single year. So to be able to consistently earn that, it's, it means a lot to me. It means lots of my family and uh, to be able to do all that to be able to represent something as cool and as big as the United States on the global stage even if it is track and field it's really special there you go well really proud of you and really looking forward to that final man thanks man appreciate you